Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today, we're going to talk about VeChain, and there was an Ocean X meetup, and man, they dropped some big bombshells. Um, there, there is a stream online where Sonny kind of like goes over this stuff, but it's kind of drawn out, so I'm going to just give you the lowdown. So there is, Sonny did mention that their partner DNVGL, which by the way is turning out to be their best partner, is working with PWC USA. And they're looking to establish a partnership with a big U.S. company. Now, a lot of you are going to jump to the conclusion that that's Walmart U.S. because Walmart China is already working with VeChain. I wouldn't really bet on that. U.S. company could mean anyone. It could mean Target. It could mean Walmart. It could mean you know Whole Foods. You know, it it, it doesn't really it doesn't really give us too much clues about um, which partner or which company it is. That's probably that might be under NDA right now or something. Um, but we're probably going to find out about it sooner or later. But a partnership in the U.S. means it should be U.S. compliant, and that should make it easier to get onto U.S. exchanges. So Walmart-like partnership with PW in the C in the works in the U.S. That's very very exciting. I'm not going to speculate too much on it and say who it is because I don't know. And um, stuff like this, I like VeChain, but stuff like this, I always say um, I'll believe it when it comes to fruition and when I see it. Same, it's basically the same way I treat XRP or, or Cardano or a, a lot of those other things with partnerships. I'm excited about it, but I'll believe it when I see it uh, because you know there's always a chance it doesn't work out or um, just uh, overexcited and exaggerated things. But we're really, I'm very excited about this uh, partnership with PwC um, in the US with VeChain. That means they're going to be using the VTOR, VeChain Tor blockchain, which means they're going to have to burn Vetho. And more importantly, if it's in the US, it should be compliant in the United States. And then the second thing he dropped was DNVGL's deal with the National Wine Association of Italy. It's really like, it's not, I don't know about the National Wine, but it's a lot of Italy's biggest wine manufacturers to use my story, which is kind of like the storyboard thing about how wine, you know, how the wine got there and the production process and all that stuff to use my story on all wine bottles coming out of Italy. I think Italy outside of France and maybe California may, might produce more wine than anyone in the world so italy is definitely a big big uh, market for wines and if they use that my story stuff on every single wine, wine bottle that means a lot of tx's which is good for us because that means a lot of vetho burned um obviously the third thing is large enterprises are very clear in their assertion that the blockchain space lacks regulation and clarity and you know the, the problem with this is full of scams and on top of some of that, tokens, companies, and projects can be shut down. Oh, but I'll leave a link in the comments to this Reddit article or to this Reddit thread uh, where this guy summarizes it because he does a very well, very good job. Um, and you guys can look through it here. So we don't really know uh, when that's actually happening. We're hope like if you're fans of any of these coins, you're basically hoping that the SEC basically just finds you and then like gives you an exemption like they did with EOS. But we don't really know what that's going to uh, happen quite yet vchain is forging ahead and if they can actually make a partnership in the united states using that utility token that might change the sec's view and also you know dnvgl's deal with the national wine association of italy um that's pretty big too so it's actually going to be, start being used in industry hopefully we'll see more tx's throughout the uh, through the end of the year and that should build vchain up vchain remember is much much smaller in market cap than the, like the top 10 or top five so with like these big partnerships during a bull run it should actually spike higher as well. In terms of ROI, it might it's it might not spike to like five dollars or something like some people are expecting. But you know, even a spike to fifty cents is over a hundred x what where we are now. And I think you know, in the tens of cents, you know, like in the double digit cents price, that's totally totally possible. So that's kind of the news right now. Um, those are the big bombs out of VeChain. The first one's by far the biggest. Uh, Walmart like partnership with PwC USA in the works. And that's what we're really looking forward to. Also, National Wine Association, you know, for people that say you can't expand out of China, um, that's false now because we know we have that deal in Italy. And then we also have the wine maker out of Australia. So we're really, really tapping into this in both Italy and Australia. Now, right now, we still don't have anything in the United States, but if PW gets, gets this thing done and we get actually work in the United States, that means we're spread across several continents already or four continents now it's only three um and that would actually getting us clarity getting them binance.us 
wow, that would be uh, a big one for VeChain because right now we don't have a US outlet and that's what's really hurting us right now for investors. So that's the report for today. Those are the bombshells dropped by VeChain. Once again, I'll link this article in the, just pin it in the description. Thank you and have a nice day. Let me know what you think in the comments, people.